Hello everyone. This video demonstrates how to create an openwork knit with a diamond relief pattern. The skein consists of three stitches and four rows, which are repeated with a shift. It is quite similar to the one I shared about a year ago, which is based on two stitches and results in a sloped diamond structure. Today's knitting pattern uses three basic stitches to create well-centered diamonds. In the fourth and eighth rows, we will be using a decreased stitch technique, which I have not previously demonstrated in my videos. To start, cast on a multiple of three loops plus two edge stitches, and then we can begin. The first row is on the right side. After the edge loop, the repeat pattern is purl 1, knit 1, and purl 1. Again, purl 1, knit 1, and purl 1. The second row is on the wrong side. After slipping the edge loop, we repeat stitches from the bottom row, knit 1, purl 1, and knit 1. Again, knit 1, purl 1, and knit 1. The third row is on the right side. After the edge loop, the repeat pattern is purl 1, knit 1, and purl 1. Again, purl 1, knit 1, and purl 1. On the fourth row, we will work with the stitches in groups of three, two knit loops and one purl between them. We will make two out of three loops. Knit two together with a slope to the left, slip the first, knit the second, but do not drop it, and push the loop through the first one. Then knit the second and third loops together with a slope to the right. Thus, we got two loops from three by knitting the middle one twice. Finally, make a yarn over loop. Again, knit two together with a slope to the left. Knit two together with a slope to the right, and make a yarn over. The next four rows repeat the first four with an offset. The fifth row is on the right side. After the edge loop, the repeat pattern is Knit 1 and purl 2 Again, knit 1 and purl 2 
The sixth row is on the wrong side, we repeat stitches from the bottom row, knit 2 and purl 1. Again, knit 2 and purl 1. The seventh row is on the right side. After the edge loop, the repeat pattern is Knit 1 and purl 2 Again, knit 1 and purl 2 On the 8th row, we are on the wrong side. First, out of the scheme, knit 1 and make a yarn over loop. Then starts the repeat pattern. Knit 2 together with a slope to the left. Then knit the second and third loops together with a slope to the right. Make a yarn over loop. Knit two together with the slope to the left. Knit two together with the slope to the right and make a yarn over. At the end of the row, out of the scheme, knit two loops together with the slope to the left. In conclusion, this new openwork knit is perfect for summer clothing because it is airy, translucent, and mesh-like. It is also suitable for scarves and capes because the wrong side also has its texture. I hope you find a use for it in your future projects. I highly recommend it. If you found the video helpful, please click the thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so you never miss a video. Click my Knit Not Space Shop icon or the link in the description below the video to see my knit creations and get them for yourself or as a gift. Thank you for being a part of this, and I am excited to see you soon.